so that's done. Good. I like that. That's one of the ugh. <laughs> that's one of the parts of my job I don't really care for because there's, <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of steps to it. But anyway, um, the big reason why I'm doing this video is one to show you another step that I have to take, another process in the creation of the Green Mountain Gold Traps. Some of you like to see it, some of you don't, whatever. Um, but HD Shovelhead and Heath Doty. Know how to say your name now because you told me you were here today. You bought a 23 inch pay streak finder suite. Thank you. But anyway, um, you both picked up on something weird, especially HD. You had said, what well, you know, YouTube doubled up on an upload. Well, no. <laughs> no, I created a Rumble account, which is much like YouTube. It's another platform like YouTube. So. Um, that's the big reason why I'm doing this video. I wanted to like take all my old video footage and populate Rumble by uploading those videos, but I can't do that because then we're going to end up with doubles on YouTube and everybody's going to be like, uh, well, I already saw this. So I guess I can't do that. But anyway, um, some of you had said, like, HD, you were hoping you would win the 23-inch Page Street Finder. Um, Can't remember your name right now. You just posted a comment last night or this morning. Minor bust. Um, 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 um. We could have met last year at the Smoke in September Dig. Forgive me. I just there's so many people I deal with. <laughs> I can't remember names half the time. But anyway, um, some of you have said you know you wished you had had, had won it. Um, I actually had a new commenter come in and, and make that comment. Well, like I said, stay tuned. You'll have your chance. Well. I'm announcing that now. This is not the video you would leave your comment on, but what I would like to see is the subscriber count go up on Rumble. So that's what this is all about. Once I get to 500 subscribers on Rumble, I don't care if it's two days from now, five days from now, a month from now, middle of next summer, end of next summer, next year, whatever, it's up to you guys. That's up to you. Get this video out there, share it, tell people, hey, go check this out, you know, because you want to win, right? So share it, get it out there. Um, once I get up to 500 subscribers on Rumble, I will do another drawing. I, I can I can do it any time. The only thing I ask is you be patient because even though it's really kind of the end of the prospecting season, surprisingly, orders have started coming in again. And I'm like scratching my head going, okay, this is great, but... I'd like to get a, a, an inventory ready for next spring, and I'm not being allowed to do that. Not complaining. I like to make the money, but <laughs> strange. I'm just scratching my head here. But anyway, so, hey, um, just be a little patient with me once I draw the name, and if you're not getting it shipped right away, well, that's the reason why, because I'm fulfilling actual orders. So, hey, let's do this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, especially on Rumble. And um, this video is being uploaded to Rumble now that I know that when I upload to Rumble, it automatically goes over to YouTube. So I don't, I don't have to upload on YouTube anymore. Sweet. <laughs> um, so, hey, catch y'all later. Got to get back to work. Got stuff to do. I also want to give a quick shout out to Dave Peterson. He is the inventor of the Dream Mat. And this stuff, folks, is really good stuff. I don't know. Some of you know. Some of you don't know. If you don't know, you ought to check it out. You have a sluice box you want to modify. You want to supercharge that sucker. I'd get some of this stuff. Um, he has different kinds. Go to prospectorsdream.com, I think is the website. And check it out. He even has them for dredges, blue bowls, you name it. Um, different different prof profiles. Um, but anyway, Dave, I did get the three mats that you sent. That's the highest profile one. I don't think this one this one doesn't have a name. Well, you probably have a name for it, but I, 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 don't, I don't know. It's not my product. You, it's your product. You, you know. I don't know. <laughs> but that's the highest profile one. Um, so I can't use that as what I, I'll show you all in a minute what I want to do. But um, the middle profile one, I can't use on the gold traps either, I don't believe, because larger rocks, I mean, it's a pretty good rigid 
um, mat and it might work but I think over time it would get beat down and wore down by the rocks going down the uh, skid plate so this is what I did with it I, I cut it up and put it into my cleanup sluice and I'll tell you what it works good it works really good I like it I like it I still have to play with the pitch I was doing that yesterday I ran quite a bit of material that I had already run um, and found three more pieces in it with this mat so hey this stuff works good I'll tell you so the other the third one for all of you who don't know Dave knows is the micro mat and that I am going to add it's going to be an add-on for those of you who would like to see an indicator mat on the gold traps it will be placed before the classification plate um, and Dave had made the suggestion to through he made the suggestion through jeez uh, um, oh, wow it's my buddy it's my brother Dark Canyon Prospecting. Boy, my brain is just not working today, folks. But, um, yeah, he made the suggestion of putting it on top up here. But it's, it's one, it's not needed. And two, it's going to block the view of the capture tray. So, can't do it. Some of you who have seen my videos know that I did create a clear capture tray using clear... Um, polycarbonate walls these white walls you see here that was clear and the tubes were clear and I quickly once I got to the river realized this is not gonna work because having the white you're able to see your feed rate when you add material material goes into the capture tray and then you watch for this white wall to start revealing itself or one or all of the tubes then you know you can add more material a lot of people are under the misconception of oh well you know I've got a, a bazooka gold trap I've got a croc gold trap or a, um, whatever any of the other ones out there grizzly um, just shovel onto it shovel 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 you can't do that you cannot do that I'm sorry look I'm the creator of this thing and now that we have something clear to educate us we know what to do okay so if you go adding material like a madman then you're going to be losing gold. You're just you're going to be it's just going to be riding right out. So you can't do that. So in order to be able to know how you're supposed to feed it, you got to see what's inside. So not going to put it there. I'm going to put it in front of the classification plate as an indicator mat. I mean this thing. Any of you who own them know if you've farted around with it, like I did during the testing and development, both myself and Coin and Ring guy, and he'll be commenting and commenting on this video, and he'll tell you, we beat this thing. Both of us feeding, and um, his wife Gail, thank you Gail, was clearing off anything that got caught, any debris or any larger rocks that stopped on the classification plate. She was clearing those off for us, and we were taking turns shoveling. While he was shoveling, I was dumping on. I'd pass him. He'd come over and shovel on. Eight hours or more. And we did this more than once. And we put pans in front of it. And at the end of the day, you check your catch pan, your safety pan, and there was very little gold. So these things, not only do they capture the fine, 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 fine gold, um, finer gold than we have here. A lot of my customer, customers have wrote to me and said that they're just blown away because it's catching pi pixie dust. Um, not only do they catch the fine gold, obviously they catch the bigger gold, but it's at you know 95 and at closer to 98 percent capture rate. It just is what it is. Um, I, I took a lot of time, a lot of time, tube size, hole size, width of the capture tray, length of the capture tray. I mean, it just there was a lot that went into it and it is what it is now and it it works well I'm not trying to pat myself on the back it just is what it is my customers will tell you the same thing go ahead on the website and and check out reviews you'll see I've only have out of all my reviews I think two four star reviews the rest are five star reviews um, just is what it is so but anyway so that's gonna be it for this video and like I said before don't forget to like share comment and subscribe if you have not subscribed on youtube do so and head on over to rumble the link will be in the description to this video you'll see it in the description on youtube and uh, 
head on over to Rumble and subscribe. Once I get to 500, one of you is going to win. Take care.